Okay, so today, today I'll be discussing chapter 1 or yung lesson 1 natin. Okay? So this this session is recorded. Ay, mamaya kung may question tayo, magtanong lang tayo. Okay? By the way, the subject is uh, a no laboratory subject. That means wala tayong hands-on dito. Uh, more of discussion tayo, more of topics. Okay? Uh, later on, I want you to pay attention with with all what is currently discussed kasi um, uh, while I am discussing, okay, randomly tatawag ako ng nasa listahan ko. Why? For you to recite. No? I already uploaded the uh, the lesson one. Okay lang. Kung madilim sa inyo, okay lang. Okay? Pero just just turn on your camera para para at least you have the participation. Um, randomly, tatawag ako just, just, just to explain series of things. Kasi nga, no laboratory subject to. Ibig sabihin, no? uh, the only participation that I could get from you is through recitation. So, magre-recite tayo dito. Okay? So, the lecture one or the lesson one is already uploaded on the LMS. Uh, I hope everyone can see the LMS no? na medyo binivisit natin yung LMS. Okay? Para at least nakikita natin kung ano yung current uploaded files na nandoon. Okay? Okay, so I hope everyone is ready with with the lesson one together with your microphone and your camera on. Kasi mamaya, once I call your name, no? uh, you'll be reciting. No? Okay, huwag kayong kabahan kasi simple lang naman itong mga itatanong ko. No? Hindi naman ito pang, pang pageant na mga tanong or mathematical na tanong. Okay? Okay? Uh, naririnig ba ako ng loud and clear? Naririnig ba ako ng loud and, uh, loud and clear? Yes, okay. yes sir. Okay. So, that's good. That's good to hear. Now, this is recorded by the way. No? So, ibig sabihin, uh, once you recite, uh, recorded din yung recitation natin. Okay? So, recorded din. So, let me share my screen. Okay. So, this is the uh, lesson one natin for introduction to computing. Okay? It is abbreviated as ITC. No? Uh, uh, kapag ka narinig nyo sa akin yung word na ITC, that means we are referring to introduction to computing. No? Okay? So, do not do not write anything on the ano, uh, on your lecture. Open ko lang yung aking class record para uh, malalagay natin kung sino yung mga sumagot. Okay. So, okay. So, this is the lesson one. Okay. So, meron yata ako dito medyo madami-dami itong slide na to. Okay. Just bear with me. Okay. Kasi nga medyo well, anyway, hindi naman kayo inaantok kasi umaga pa lang. No? Medyo maaga pa. So, maybe, hindi pa kayo masyadong, you know, you're not really exhausted yet. Okay? So, let's start, no? Introduction to Computing Lesson 1. Where's my mouse? Okay. Now, kagaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, the ITC discusses all about computing. Uh, walang ano to, uh, uh, walang coding, walang kahit na ano. Ang i-discuss natin dito is more of concept. Lahat-lahat ng konsepto. No? Lahat-lahat ng konsepto. So, puro discussion talaga tayo dito. Puro, puro talks. No? It's like you're watching a tutorial, parang ganon. A seminar, parang ganon. 
So let's start with what is computing. Kasi importante nung malaman what is computing kasi it's a part of your subject. Introduction to computing, no? Kapag ba sinabi natin computing, what is computing, no? Um, as as information technology students, no? You should know kapag sinabi computing, computer, no? Uh, computation, mga ganon, those are those are similar naman, halos, no? Pero they differ on uh, the usage and the idea. No? So what is computing? Computing is an activity that uses computer. Okay? So meaning, any tasks, okay, any job that uses computer is called computing. Okay? Sir, wala namang computation dito. Bakit tinawag siyang computing? No? Hindi naman ako nagko-compute. Bakit sinabing computing? Okay? Even so, because computers are considered to be uh, computing equipment. Okay? Uh, uh, considered sila na uh, uh, computing equipment. Kasi... Dati, ang computer, ginagamit talaga siya to solve mathematical problems. No? Pero nowadays, medyo dumami na talaga yung uh, gamit ni computer. Nandyan na yung nag-games ka, you have photo edit, video edit, lahat-lahat. Pero the term is still computing. Okay? Because the computer uses mathematical computations. Okay? So computing also includes developing hardware and software and using computers to manage and process information communicate and to entertain. Yan yung sinasabi ko kanina, no? So Okay? So it includes developing hardware, no? Pag ba sinabi nating hardware, anong ibig sabihin? Hardware, ano ba 'yon? These are what? These are the any physical structure ng PC po, sir. Okay, that's that's correct, Christine, no? So any physical, kapag ka, ang, ang ano natin diyan, physical or tangible. Okay? So Okay lang natin si Christine. Okay, so, you may bat in, no? Para magka-points tayo in, in your recitation. Okay? Okay? So, hardware and software, using computers to manage and process information, communicate, and entertain. How does, how does computer communicate? Nagagamit ba natin siya for communication? Ha? Yes. Nagagamit din po, sir. How? Paano? Paano? Paano natin nagagamit yung computer in communicating? With the help of with the help of the software, sir. Mm -hmm. Kagaya ng? Web browser, sir. Yung Skype po and other applications. Okay, so that's correct, no? As soon as our our um okay so as soon as our computer connects with the internet that is already communicating okay so ibig sabihin pag ang computer natin konektado yan sa internet may communication na agad na nangyayari diyan okay kahit na hindi mo ginagamit yung facebook kahit na hindi mo ginagamit yung uh, uh, internet automatic no if it is connected in the internet it is already communicating worldwide no okay so next computing is a critically important integral component of modern industrial technology okay is that correct no computing is a cr critically important okay nowadays no okay uh, kapag sinabi nating integral Okay? And critically important. Okay? We could not define the 20s and 90s ng walang computer. Okay? Halos lahat. No? Halos lahat merong computer. Kapag sinabi natin computer or computing, hindi lang yan ibig sabihin yung computer such desktop and laptops. No? Hindi lang yan. Okay? Ano pa? Okay? Could you give me some computing devices na medyo hindi nagre-reside inside your computer and laptop meron ba okay phone correct no maki so tama si hans no 
Uh, phone, ano pa? Lagay natin yung... Ako po, sir. Sige, ako Calculator po, tsaka desktop, sir. Calculator and desktop. Okay. So, Michael. Anyone pa? Smartwatch po, sir. Smartphones. Okay, smart TV. Okay. Anyone pa? Swatches, sir. Tablet. Lahat ng merong smart, no? Okay, they, they, they do computing. Okay, let me give you an example, no? Um, even walang mga display, like, like for example, ovens. Do you think meron silang computing power? Microwave ovens. Yes, sir. Meron. Okay, meron. No? Meron sila. So, ibig sabihin, computing devices din sila. Okay? Meron silang computing power. They could be considered partly as computing devices. How about washing machines? Meron din. No? Meron din. So, that, that, that could also be considered as, ano, kahit na lumang washing machine pa yan or it is a fully automated washing machine they are considered. Now, ibig sabihin, if we move around the house, as long as it is not analog, meron silang computer chip inside. Okay? Even nga mga toys ng mga kapatid nyo, minsan, they have computing devices. Okay? So, as long as they have, they are not analog, they could be considered. Even mga cars, no? mga kotse, Yan, mga yan, vehicles, lahat yan, they, ha they have computing technology, right? So, kaya sinabing critically important sila in modern industrial technology. Kasi, we are in the modern, no? We are in the computer age, okay? So, lahat halos pinapatakbo ni computing. Even your aircon, di ba? Meron nga tayo sa aircon yung automatically kapag ka, uh, na-reach niya na yung level, no? magko-cool down siya hanggang sa pagka nabawasan yung level ng lamig, bubuga ulit siya. Merong mga ganong technology. No? Meron na rin yung air filter something. No? May mga ganon na siya. Meron na rin dual or triple inverter para mas matipid. No? Marami ng marami ng na, 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 and they are really uh, critically important in, in industrial technology. Okay? So, next tayo. So these are the modern uh, disciplines or, or major okay? computing disciplines includes the following. No? Engineering, no? computer engineering, uh, software engineering, computer science, information system, and ITs. Okay? Now, do you have any idea sa mga to? Meron ba tayong mga idea? Let's say... Um, ano ba yung mga ginagawa ng mga computer engineers? Okay? May mga barkada ba kayo? May mga kamag-anak ba kayo computer engineers? Okay? They are the major computing disciplines. Eh. Ibig sabihin, sila yung nagbumubuo ng computing. Okay? Sila yung bumubuo ng computing. Now, do you have any idea? Ano yung ginagawa ng mga computer engineers? Anyone? Any volunteer? Oh. So far, ano pa lang ha? Ilan pa lang yung nakalista sa akin dito na mayroong recitation? And Sir, we have in 19, 19 students na naka-in. Sir, ako po, sir. Uh, sige, Michael. Go. Sir, they maintain up, ano, they, they maintain software and hardware po. They maintain ng mga computers. And the hardware. Okay. Okay. Any more? Additional? Sir, sila po, sir, yung nag-aano nag din po ng mga parts ng computer, sir. Nag-aano? Nag-aayos po, sir. Nag-aayos? Nag-build din po. Nag-build. Okay. Any more? In addition to that? Sir, they uh, design some or they develop some computer parts, sir. They develop and design some computer yes, parts, sir. no? So, si Shan yun. Okay. Any more? Construction, sir, and implementation. 
implementation. Construction and implement ng ano? Yung ano sir, software and hand- hardware. Software and hardware. Okay. Any additional to that? Okay. Now, analysis and process. Okay. Um, wait lang. Ita- i- take note lang natin yung mga sumasagat. Okay. Now, the word engineering means to build. Okay? Ibig sabihin, to create. No? To do. Okay? Kapag ka sinabi natin civil engineer, di ba? they built what? They built roads. They built... Uh, kapag ka sinabi kasi natin civil engineer, they built public. Okay? They built roads. They built bridges. They built skyscrapers. Those are those are civil engineers, no? Now, kapag kasi sinabi natin computer engineers, they are responsible in building what? Computer parts, hardware, okay, in general. Okay? So, si computer engineer, their discipline is to innovate and create. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin innovate, meron ng existing na hardware, uh, pwede nilang i-upgrade. Okay, what do we mean by upgrade? Yan ba yung from from 8 gig gagawin nating 16 gig, ganun ba yan? Okay? From 16 gig gagawin nating 32 gig, ganun ba yan? Partly ganun, pero pag sinabi kasi nating innovate, there is an additional feature. Okay? Like for example, uh dati meron lang tayo sa mga computers natin, meron tayong i7. Okay? Now, because of the computer engineer, meron tayo ngayong i9. Okay? So, meron tayong mas maraming cores. Okay? Mas maraming core. Okay? Which means, no? Which means, in-innovate nila. May nag exist na na processor. Now, because of computer engineers, they innovate. Dinagdagan nila yung feature na yun. So, it's like version 2.0. Okay? Now, that that doesn't lies only in uh, innovation, no? Pwede rin silang mag, maggawa ng bago. Okay, like for example, they 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 would build another brand, no? Currently, meron tayong ano? Meron tayong uh, AMD. Meron tayong uh, Intel. Meron tayo ngayong M1. You know M1 is? Yung processor ngayon na new, M1. Yung M1 is for Macintosh or yung mga Apple PCs. No? They they build their own processor. So, hindi na sila power, powered by Ryzen. Hindi na sila powered by uh, Intel. They are powered by themselves na, yung M1. Okay? Maybe, may, may mga Mac user dito, malamang alam nyo yan. Okay? Pero th- these, are, these are the new technology of Macintosh. Okay, next tayo. Software engineer. Okay? So, kagaya nga na sinabi ko sa inyo, if they used to create, most probably, software engineers are used also to create softwares. Okay? And innovate software. So, halimbawa, di ba dati, meron tayong Microsoft Word uh, 2010. Ngayon, meron na tayong 360. Okay? Meron tayong Adobe Photoshop CX6 dati. Ngayon, meron na tayong CC. No? So, because of them, nakakaroon tayo ng mga different features, new softwares, okay? And so on. Okay? Now, next, computer science. Okay, any volunteer for computer science? Ano naman si computer science? Anyone? Computer science. Sige, go ahead. What is computer science? Ito sir yung ano, algorithmic processes. Mm-hmm. Sir, sila po yung nag sila po yung nag-create ng mga theories po sir, about computers po. Okay. So, 
si Katrina. Okay, sila yung nagke-create ng mga theories. Okay. Let's 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 make it this way. Okay? Computer science is also a computer related or computing related courses, no? Course din 'yan. Kurso din 'yan. Okay, meron tayong IT, may IS, meron tayong computer science, no? Uh, computer science, they are they are uh, the persons behind different algorithmic Uh, uh, methods. Okay. Pag sinabi natin algorithmic methods, ano yan? Uh, bigyan ko na lang kayo ng example para medyo mas mabilis natin makuha. Um, you know Facebook is, di ba? You know Facebook. Di ba? Pag kanibawa, nagpo-post kayo, tas grupo kayo. Di ba? Grupo kayo, tas makikita nyo doon sa grupo, minsan si Facebook, sinasuggest niya na na itag mo to. Kasi na-detect niya yung mukha nung kasama mo. Tama mali? Okay? So that is what? That is facial recognition. Okay? That is facial recognition. And the developers of those algorithms are computer science. Okay? Ibig sabihin, they are the mathematical computation. They did the mathematical computation. They did the research behind how Will the software detect the face of that particular person? Okay? Sila yon. Okay, sila yon. So, computer science does research about that. Ano pa? Biometrics. Okay, biometrics. Ano pa? Limbawa, yung mga current technology na nagawa na ni computer science. Um, voice recognition. Okay? Pattern. Ay more of security. Ano pa? Uh, if you are familiar with um, uh, artificial intelligence, no? Yung mga uh, in-depth learning, kung familiar tayo doon, kung naririnig natin doon, yung halimbawa, tinuturuan natin na itong, uh, I, I don't know if you already have that particular knowledge. Yung halimbawa, yung ito, itong camera ko, itong camera ko, itututok ko dito, alam niya kung ano yon. Okay, madedetect niya. Madedetect niya. Okay, halimbawa, um, itututok ko yung camera ko dito, malalaman niya yung distance between the wall and yung, yung phone ko. Those are, those are algorithms. No? So, si computer science, they did innovation about algorithm. Okay? So, sila computer science. So, ibig sabihin, okay, hindi naman talaga sila nagde-develop ng software. Okay? They develop algorithm that can be used to embed in a software. Okay? Na, nakukuha ba yung ibig ko sabihin? Okay? Now, let's move on with information system. Ano naman si information system? Yan, kayo yan. Course nyo yan. IT. Okay? Uh, Bakit ba kayo nanguha ng IT? Okay? Anyone? Oh. Information system? Ah, uh, No. Uh, IS pala to. Iba to. Iba. iba. May IS ba sa inyo? Wala, no? Wala po. Okay. So, by the way, anong, anong, anyway, anong, ano yung information system? Sir, ako po. Sige, Mariel. Sila po, sir, yung, ano, nagko-collect or nagpa-process ng, ano, sir, information or distribu- distib- distribute ng information. Nagpa-process and nag-distribute ng information. Okay? Any more? Additional to that? Dito din po, sir. Nakapasok yung database din po, sir. Database. Okay. Pumapasok ang database. What else? Okay. Pakinggan nga natin yung iba, yung mga hindi nagsasalita. Okay. Tatawag ako, ha. Pag-process okay. po ng data, sir. Okay. Nagpa-process ng data. Okay, so IS, information system, they are the managers. They manage. Okay, they manage. Um, let's say, for example, you have the software. It is already there. No? Ang trabaho ni IS is they are to um, uh, implement. Okay, they are to implement. 
the technology. Okay, the system. Okay? Kaya minsan, sasabihin nyo, ah, but si information system hindi masyadong magaling mag-program. Because they are not trained to program. They are trained to manage. To train. Okay? Ibig sabihin, they are the manager of IT infrastructures. Okay? So, sila yon, Okay? Sila yung mga yon. They are, they are in the top of, of parang nandun sila sa taas. Uh, kapag katapos na lahat, okay, pasa nyo na sa akin, ako nang bahala magpa-implement niyan. Now, the success of the implementation would differ on the information system. Nandun sa tao na yon. Okay, whether tatanggapin siya or i-reject siya ng isang company na kay IS yon. Okay? Kaya meron kayong maririnig sa isang company at hindi 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 mawawala yung tinatawag nating Management Information System Department or MIS Department. Sila yun. Okay? They are consists of ComSci, IT, and IS. Okay? So usually uh, uh, in a techn technological school, uh, tato lagi yan, ComSci, IS, and IT. Okay? No? Usually, konti lang ang kumukuha ng IS kasi sinasabi nila yung pang mga IS, pang mga ayaw mag-program yan. Well, medyo, pero they are more of managerial side. Okay? Next, IT. O yan, IT. Anong ginagawa nyo ba? Bilang mga IT. Sir. Sige, Uriel. Nagmamanage ng hardware... Software and networks, sir. Okay, they are hardware, software, and network. Any more? Additional to that? Sir. Sir? Uh, sir. Sige, Van, Jeremy? Paggamit ng computer at lumika ng mga prosesong mga gawain, sir. Paggamit ng electronic. Okay, and processes. Any more? Ako po, sir. Ako, sir. Ako, sir. Ako, sir. Narinig ba ako? Sir. Si Aljon. Aljon ba ito? Ako po, sir. Okay. Sige. Go ahead. Yung mga ito, sir, sila yung nag-ano, nag-create, tsaka nag-manage sa mga database, sir. Nag-create. Okay. So, i-list ako lang yung mga nag-recite. Okay. So, Sinabi na natin IT tayo yan. Okay, tayo yan. Ano ba mga ginagawa natin no? uh, habang nag-aaral tayo? Okay, ano ba yung mga subject natin habang nag-aaral tayo? Di ba may subject tayong programming, may subject tayong web development, may subject tayong Java, may subject tayong kung ano-ano, lahat na. Okay? Because we are used to, okay, para tayong ano eh, As an IT, para kang jack of all trade when it comes to technology. You could be what? You could be software engineer. Minsan, uh, ikaw rin yung nagmamanage. No? Minsan sa network no? and all. So, IT yun. IT. Pero, usually, ang ginagawa ni IT is to innovate. Okay? To innovate. Pag sinabi natin to innovate, meron ng, meron ng facial recognition si computer science. Okay, I amin mean, na gagamitin ko. Okay? Meron ang nagawang software si computer engineer. Okay, amin, nagagamitin ko, ilalagay ko si facial recognition. Okay? Tapos, kailangan itong software na to, medyo kailangan pupunta dun sa kabilang unit, in network ko, si IT ang gumagawa nun. Okay? He collects, she collects, okay, the different modules, elements, functionalities na meron. Okay? Then, pagsasama-samahin niya, and then, gagawin niya. Okay? Could be, could be, pwede niyang halimbawa, pwede from the scratch or from other software to innovate. Okay? Those are, those are the jobs of IT. No? So, ibig sabihin, dahil IT, yung kinuha yung course, okay? Hindi kayo sasagot ng tawag. Hello, this is Ricky. How may I help you? Okay? Hindi call center agent. Okay? I'm not discouraging you to be a call center agent, of course. Pero, okay, if, you, you, if you've been an IT, 
Okay, para ma- ma-practice mo yung pagiging IT mo, all throughout, pagbutihin natin yung mga major subjects natin and maybe, no, makakahanap tayo ng jobs in IT pagka-graduate natin. Okay? Hindi yung halimbawa, uh, dahil nakagraduate nga tayo ng IT pero wala tayong alam sa IT, ang gagawin natin, mag-apply tayo sa sa hindi na, sa hindi natin linya. Okay? And those 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 lines are different. So medyo yun. Actually magaganda ang magaganda ang starting salaries ng mga mga developers, no? Magaganda ang mga starting salaries ng mga developers. Okay? Uh, if you if you if you're just going to be a big hit in IT industry. Okay? Medyo maraming opportunities talaga. Okay? So, yun, no? Okay? So, in general, computing is defined as any goal-oriented activity requiring benefiting from or creating computers. Okay? So, yun, no? So, requiring, benefiting, and creating out of computers. Okay? So, that is computing. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay. Computing includes, okay, computing includes designing and building hardware and software systems for a wide range of purposes. Okay? So, also processing, structuring and managing various kinds of information. Um can someone can someone explain this to me? Okay? Um Processing, structuring, and managing various kinds of information. Meron ba? Okay. Can someone explain this to me? Ano ba ibig sabihin ng processing, structuring, and managing various kinds of information? What are we referring to this? Anyone? Any volunteer? Kapag ka sinabi natin ganyan, anong ibig sabihin ba niyan? Ito po, sir, yung mga data po, sir. Mga iba't ibang klase po ng data. Okay. What else? Gumagawa ng bagong information. Okay, ano pa? Nagre-retrieve din po sila ng mga data and process information, sir. Nagre-retrieve. So, okay. So, Pagka sinabi nating process, structure, and manage, ganito yan. Okay? Let's say, for example, in in a business. No? Like, isip tayo ng business. Let's say, SM department store. No? SM department store. So, kapag ka, di ba, pumasok tayo sa SM department store, lalo na dyan sa Olongga po, dalawa, dalawa yung SM nyo dyan eh. Okay? Okay, so pag pumasok tayo sa SM department store, ang daming products, di ba? So, ang daming products, di ba? Okay? So, how how they how do they manage and structure and process those data? With the use of computing, no? With the use of computing. Um, paano yung process? Okay? Paano yung process and structure? Kapag sinabi natin structure kasi the dive ka in depth with databases, Okay? Lahat ng mga lahat ng mga uh, products na nandiyan na nakikita nyo, naka-database 'yan. Now, process is a process of retrieving from the database and yung manage is also through software. Lahat 'yan, no? And that is the computing side. Okay, gumagamit tayo ng computer para i-manage sila lahat, no? Imagine niyo na lang kung halimbawa nagtayo ng nagtayo ng SM pero walang computer, no? Imagine niyo na lang paano 'yun. Okay? Siguro, uh, bago ka makarating sa teller, kung nililista niya lang yun, siguro mga isang araw. No? Pero with the use of of the databases and computers, medyo madali. No? Medyo madali. Okay? So, doing scientific studies using computers, yan yung sinasabi ko kanina with, with uh, innovation like uh, Uh, artificial intelligence no uh, ano pa ba cloud no yan yung mga yung mga ngayon eh we have cloud computing di ba dati um, gumagamit pa ba kayo ng flash drive na yan 
Magamit pa ba kayo? Hindi nagaano, sir. Hindi nagaano, no? Oo, oh, kasi usually, saan nyo na ini-store yung ano nyo, mga files nyo? Sa cloud na, di ba? Bumibili pa ba kayo ng external? Dati, sikat na sikat yung external. Pagka naka-external drive ka, talagang kala mo mayaman ka eh. Okay? Ngayon, okay? Pagka may external drive ka, okay lang, sakto lang, di ba? Okay? Uh, dati, yung one, parang one, uh, yung one terabyte dati, nasa 5,000 yata or 8,000 eh. Okay? yung yung isang external so medyo mahal talaga siya. Ngayon, ang dami nang lumabas, no? Ang dami nang lumabas na ano. Okay? So, 'yon, no? So, now because of scientific studies and computing, meron na tayong cloud storage, no? So, may cloud storage na tayo. Okay? So, anytime, anywhere, okay, kahit sa phone mo mare-retrieve mo na yung 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 ano mo, yung mga data mo. Now, can you give me different cloud storage na alam nyo? Sige nga. Google Drive, sir. Google Drive. Ano pa? Yun lang? <laughs> Google Drive lang? iCloud? Ano pa? Google Photo po, sir. Google Photo? Ano pa? Okay, lahat ng may... Madami yan eh. Madami talaga sila. Xiaomi Drive. Okay. Okay. Uh, meron ding, di ba? Meron ding, meron ding brand. Meron ding, uh, uh, if you're familiar with Dropbox, no? Okay. OneDrive. Yung mga yan. OneDrive is Microsoft. No? Hindi kasama yun dito sa presentation ko, ha? Pero there might be a probability na lalabas sila sa mga quizzes natin, ha? And major exams. So, OneDrive, nandiyan din si Dropbox. Dati ang ginagamit ko si Dropbox eh. Okay? Wherein you will earn a lot of storage, no? Okay? Kasi ang maganda sa Dropbox, you could you could you could ano, you could collaborate, you could share. Parang Google Drive actually. Ganun siya. Okay? So, yun, na? Wala pa namang question so far, no? Okay. So yun, computing includes the following, no? Making computer system behave intelligently. Okay? Pagka sinabi natin making computer systems behave intelligently, are we talking about laptops here? Are we talking about desktop here? No, no? Hindi, no? Okay? When we say com making computer system behave intelligently, that means na ang, ang ibig sabihin na to is um, even a uh, 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 a certain hardware or a physical component is there, pero nagbe-behave siya intelligently, ibig sabihin, it is already a computing device also with an intelligent behavior. Halimbawa, bigyan niyo ako ng example, ng mga parang hardware na nagbe-behave intelligently. Yung parang matatalino. Sige nga. Example. Meron ba kayong naiisip? O kaya ginagamit nyo dyan sa bahay nyo na parang, ah, matalino to ah. May artificial intelligence to ah. Siri, sir. Si Siri. Okay. Sino pa? Ano pa? Google Voice. O ano pangalan ni Google Voice Assistant? Yung latest. Sino siya? Alexa? Matagal na si Alexa. May bago na. Sino siya? Si Bixby. Di ba? Si Bixby. No? Si Bixby na halos ngayon. Okay? Uh, madami yan, no? Madami yan. Madami sila. Uh, uh, smartphone, no? Meron sila mga artificial intelligence. Yun. Uh, uh, your... Your... Ah, uh, tawag dito. Refrigerators nowadays, ganun din, no? Halimbawa, di ba? Tutok-tukin mo lang na ganyan, di ba? May lalabas na yung nasa loob niya. Tapos, minsan, may scan pa siya, no? 
meron siyang parang artificial intelligence na i-maintain niya lang na fresh lahat ng ano mo, so, mga ganun, okay? So halos lahat meron sila, no? Okay? Switchbot. So also creating and using communications and entertainment media, finding and gathering information relevant to any particular purpose. Okay? So those are those are what computing includes. So still, no, nandito pa rin tayo sa what is computing. The discipline of computing is a systematic study of algorithm processes that describes and transform information, their theory, analysis, design, efficiency, implementation, and application. So the fundamental questions underlying all computing is what can be efficiently or what can be automated. Okay? Okay, so usually computing kasi is, is like putting something into an automated. No? Nowadays ba, ano pa ba yung mga hindi automated? Even nga, nakakita na ba kayo ng enedoro na, na ano, di ba? Yung, yung toilet bowl na they are really automated. Sa so Japan, sir. In, 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 in hotel na mga mga five-star hotels, makikita nyo doon yung mga, mga toilet bowl nila, dependent na din. Okay? So, yun. Even if you go outside the country, let's say, for example, if you've been in in Hong Kong, no? uh, ganun, ganun yung mga toilet bowl nila. Nga lang, mga signages nila, hindi English. Mga uh, Mandarin yung characters. No? Yung mga ganun. So, ano pa ba yung mga hindi na automate ngayon? Diba? Halos lahat na automate na. Okay? Can you think of something na hindi pa ba na automate? Meron pa ba? Even nga pagsasaing nyo, di ba? Sino dito yung walang rice cooker sa bahay? Lahat, meron. Tapos tanungin mo kung marunong magsaing using yung stove, hindi marunong. Okay? Ay, myself, hindi ako marunong magsaing. Okay? Rice cooker din ginagamit ko. Okay? Lahat ngayon, no? Lahat ngayon. Okay? Dati, pagka nag-iihaw ka, di ba, uling, uling yung ginagamit, di ba? Tapos ngayon, may lumabas na rin na, di ba? Yung artificial charcoal, yung sa ilalim, nakakita na kayo doon. Yung, yung biglang init yung ilalim, pero walang uling, tapos, di ba? Nakakapag-ihaw kang ganun. So, those are automated already. Hindi mo na kailangan ng, you know, pang siga, no? Gas para magpa, ano? Okay? So, yung mga ganun. Halos lahat automated na. Okay. So let's have a brief history of computing. So, medyo ano lang to. So matagal na, matagal na yung computing, no? Okay, so the history of computing is longer than the history of computing hardware and modern computing. Wala pa yung mga ngayon, wala pa yung mga hardware and software na yan, no? Uh, computing began matagal na. Okay? So computing is intimately tied to the representation of numbers but long before the abstraction like the number arose. Okay? There were mathematical concepts to serve the purpose of civilization. So lumabas yung computing because nag innovate na. Gusto na ng mga tao maging civilized. Okay? Meron ng kailangan mga computation. Like for example, natatayo na sila ng mga simple simple buildings pero kailangan i-compute nila yung mga kung kung etong kahoy ba na to kakayanin yung ganitong bigat okay so yung mga ganun computation pero syempre da, dahil hindi na kaya ng mga daliri di ba usually magbibilang sa daliri hindi na kaya gumamit na sila ng mga early computing device yan medyo alam natin to abacus no yan mga ganyan meron pa bang ganito may gumagamit pa ba ng ganito okay so eto was been in Chinese uh, Babylon circa 2400 BC. So, ganun katagal siya before Christ pa siya. Okay? So, I don't know how to use this. No? Okay? Pero, yan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. Parang tinataas-taas. No? Binababa. So, abacus yun. Okay? So, 
So the original style uses uh, sand with pebbles. Okay. So yan, no? The first known calculator or calculation age preceding Greek methods in 2000 years. No? So nagkaroon din ng uh, age preceding calculation yung Greek early 2000 years ago. Okay? So next, nagkaroon na ng computer program. So a computer is a machine that manipulates data according to a set of instructions called a computer program. So, this is executable and used directly to execute instruction. Yung mga computer dati, hindi katulad ng mga computer nyo ngayon na may nakikita kayong images. Okay? Tinatype yung instruction dati. No? Tapos, ginagamit lang siya for mathematical computation. Tapos, yung mga itsura nila malalaki. Kamukha ng mga cabinet nyo sa bahay. Ganun kalalaki. Tapos sa liliit ng monitor. And the monitor is only black and white. Wala kayo makikita ng images. Okay? They are merely used to to calculate. No? Parang ginawa lang talaga sila para maging calculator. Eh. Okay? The same program in its human readable source code form enables a programmer to study and develop sequence of steps known as algorithm. So, early on pa lang, meron naman ng algorithm. Kasi yun nga yung nilalagay nila. Yun nga yung nilalagay nila in, in, in a computer. No? So, yun talaga yung, yung instruction nila. Okay? So, the execution process carries out the instruction in a computer program. The instruction expresses the computation performed by the computer. So, ilalabas lang niya. Okay? They triggered sequences of simple actions on the executing machine those actions produce effects according to systematic uh, semantics of the instruction. Actually, the first computer programs was designed in ano, para sa, para sa mga war. Okay? To compute trajectory. Kung tatama ba sa kanila yung mga bala. Kung tatama ba sa kanila yung mga missile. Okay? Kaya kung, kung if you would recall, siguro nung mga high school kayo, napag-aralan nyo na si Enyaq, si Edvac, Yan, mga yan. Okay. Those are early computing devices ginamit sa World War. No? Okay. So, yeah. No? So, what is a computer software? So, computer software is a collection of computing uh, programs and related data that provides instruction for telling a computer what to do and how to do it. Okay. So, in simple terms, a computer program is a computer uh, uh, software Designed to create a particular task. Pag sinabi natin particular task, ano to? Let's say, gusto ko mag-type ng document, Microsoft Word. Okay? Gusto kong gumawa ng parang check and balance, Microsoft Excel. Gusto kong gumawa ng brochure, I'll go to Photoshop. So that means, each software do does a particular task. And that is a computer software. Okay? They are designed to solve a particular task. Okay? Halos lahat ngayon, nasasolve na ng computer software. Eh, no? Okay? Gusto mong pumuti, pero wala kang pang gluta. Okay? Anong ginagawa mo? Gagamit ka ng photo filter. Okay? So, yun. No? Okay? Medyo oily mo mukha mo. Gusto mong medyo, ay, abay, teka. Kuha nga ako ng photo filter. No? So, yun. Nakikita mo. Those are computer software. Okay? So, application software, yung mga yan, those are, uh, those are the specific, specific apps. No? Sometimes, they are bundled. Okay? Pag sinabi natin bundled, um, isang install mo, madami na sila. Okay, halimbawa, Microsoft Office. Pag in-install mo, nandiyan na si Word, Excel, si PowerPoint, si Publisher, si OneNote, lahat-lahat. Okay? So, yun, bundled. Minsan, mag-isa lang. Okay? And they are abbreviated as app. Okay? Yan. Minsan, tinatawag silang app or application. Okay? Okay. Question so far? Question. Wala naman? Wala pa? Okay. 
Uh, uh, yung mga ganito, medyo alam na natin to kaya medyo dadaanan lang natin. Okay? We're not going to in-depth on this kasi alam na natin to eh. System software. Ano naman system software? Pag sinati nating system software, usually, ang pinaka-example na ito is what? Um, the operating system. Okay? Ano ba yung operating system? Yan yung Windows. Okay? Yan yung Mac or yung iOS. No? Okay? Sila yung mga system software. Firmware, drivers. No? Ibig sabihin, hindi mo talaga sila magagamit. Ma-access. When I say magagamit like Microsoft Word, ba? pag in-open mo, talagang lalabas na, tapos makakapag-type ka. Hindi sila ganun. Okay? They run behind. Okay? They run behind. So, parang sila yung uh, 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 parang mga support software mo para gumana yung PC mo. Minsan, kahit gano'ng kaganda yung PC mo, kung wala naman silang system software, hindi mo rin sila magagamit. Halimbawa, yung bumili ka ng Bumili ka ng bagong printer. Ay, ganda-ganda ng printer mo. Sinaksak mo sa unit mo, pero hindi mo siya magamit simply because wala siyang system software and you need to install the device driver. Okay, ganun siya. Okay? So, those are system software. Yung nagra-run. Okay? In behind. Okay? Next is computer network. Okay, computer network naman is... Inter, a computer network often is simply referred as a network. Okay? Uh, this is used to interconnect different computers. Alam natin yan. No? Medyo may idea na tayo dyan. Okay? The purpose of this is to send and receive packets of data. Okay? Medyo kasi pagka nag-hire nag apps na tayo, Medyo nag-level up na yung year natin dyan. Ba mga first year pa lang kayo? Siguro mga second year, third year nyo, mas magkakaroon kayo ng subject na network. Mas maintindihan natin yung ibig sabihin ng network. Okay? If you have Cisco subject, lahat yan, kinocompute yan. Pati yung mga packets of data, paano nagbibigay ng IP, kinocompute yan. Okay? Okay? So, yan. Okay? Network may be classified according to The following, no? Okay, the medium used to transport the data. Ano ba yung medium natin to transport the data? Ito yung internet. Okay? Communication protocol used. Yan yung mga, is it IPv4? Okay, IPv6? No? Yung medyo familiar sa mga network dito, yung mga yan, no? Okay? Uh, scale? Scale? Gano'n ka laki yung network mo? Topology? Pag sinabi natin topology, do you have any idea na yung ibig sabihin ng topology? Ha? Huh? Topology, any volunteer who would explain topology? Pag sinabi natin network topology, what, what, what does it mean? Okay. Pag sinabi natin topology, ibig sabihin yung structure. Yung structure. Halimbawa, si PC1, kanino ba siya connected? Kaninong router sila connected dalawa? Yung ganon. Those are topology. Now, bago kayo gumagawa ng network, nilalapat nyo muna yung topology. Okay? Kasi, hindi kayo pwede gumawa ng network ng, ah, ito, i-connect ako nga ito dito. Ah, isa, dito. No, may sinusunod na plano yan. It's like uh, uh, a blueprint. No? Okay? A blueprint. Uh, yan, papakita ko sa inyo yung itsura ng topology. Kung nakikita natin yung, ayun, Yeah, those are topologies. Yeah. Yeah, nasa likod ko. Yeah, mga example yan ng topologies. Okay? Nasa ano ka? Nasa Cisco laboratory. So, yeah, those are, those are, those, those are ano. Uh, actually, dito sa laboratory ko, and napapalibutan ako ng different computers and uh, different infrastructures, okay? So, communication protocols, uh, meron pa ba? Yun. Organizational scope, ibig sabihin, yung, yung sakop lang, nung, nung scope, yung organizational scope is yung sakop. Let's say, for example, in a building, ilang laboratory, kanino sila connected, so on. Na? Okay. 
communication protocol define the rules and the data formats for exchanging network. So these are the sets of policies. These are the sets of policies in your network. Kalimbawa, bawal ma-access si ganitong site. Okay, auto-block si ganitong site. May mga ganon. Pagka nagtrabaho kayo, tapos, halimbawa kayo yung IT, sasabihin ng manager nyo, itong si ano, lagi itong nag-Facebook, eh, pwede mo ba i-block yung Facebook niya? Siya lang? Okay? Pwede yun. Those are, those are protocol uh, rules, no? Mga ganon. Tapos, i-block mo, hindi yung mismong facebook.com, yung IP ng Facebook. Para kahit na anong related sa kanya, okay, yung port number, lahat yun mapablock. Okay? <coughs> so, meron tayong tinatawag na link layers, no? yung mga yan. So, itong mga to, internet protocol suit, mga software to, na binibili. Okay? Dito, dito sa institution, meron kaming software, yung tinatawag namin firewall. Uh, ang tawag namin is Fortinet. Ang, ang presyo niya is 500,000 per year. Yung subscription niya. So, ang, ang kagandahan, pagka naka-Fortinet ka is, ayun, tatargetin ng hacker halimbawa yung bank accounts ng mga students namin, hindi nila magagawa. So, so that's that's the good. Halimbawa, may gustong tumarget dun sa website namin, ida-down nila, medyo mahirapan sila kasi meron kaming firewall. Okay. Okay, so hindi ko muna i-discuss tong Ten Commandments kasi uh, ano to, another day natin i-discuss, okay? So hanggang computer networks muna tayo. Okay, so ang ginawa natin is diniscuss natin yung elements of computing such application software, hardware, and yung system software and then the communication software or yung internet protocols, okay? So, so far... Yun muna i-discuss natin, okay? And then, uh, after this, na, so hindi muna ngayong araw na to, maybe Monday or Tuesday, i-up ko yung quiz natin regarding the, this one. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, you need to log in either of those days. Bago yung araw ng, ng meeting natin ng Friday, at least nakapag-take na kayo ng quiz kasi matatambahan kayo. No? So, madali lang naman yung quiz natin. Maybe it's true or false or multiple choice lang. Regarding lang dito sa na-discuss natin. Okay? Now, your reviewer is already up. Okay? So, share ko lang din. Okay, your reviewer is already up. This is under week one. Ayan, no? Ito siya. Okay. Ito na siya. Naka-up na yan, no? Ito yung unang week natin. Okay. So, meron tayong nakapost din yung live session natin. And then, the week two lecture. Yan yun, yung PowerPoint kanina. Okay, na pinapresent ko, naka-upload na yan. All you have to do is to click this and then download or view this using this link. Tapos, saan nyo kukunin yung quiz? Yung quiz nyo is dito din, lilitaw yan after ilang days. No? So after this, syempre magpapahinga kayo ng konti. Medyo madaming information yung kailangan nyo i-digest. <coughs> and then, siguro mga lunes o kaya martes, I will up the quiz. Basta ang mahalaga, bago mag-Friday, makapag-take tayo ng quiz. Okay? Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, huh?